Hey guys, so I'm back today with another really dramatic and um, pretty colorful eye makeup for you today. I know the eyeliner on this one is like really terrible, but my dog started howling and it scared me, so like, I don't know. But this is what it looks like. See, I like, it's not, not the best eyeliner by any means. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Let's get started. So I already put on um, my base on this eye, which is um, NYX's Milk Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. So um, I did that from the lashes to the brow bone. All right, and we're gonna start off with a matte um, white eyeshadow by MAC, it's called. Stuff is just going everywhere today. It is called Gesso or Gesso. It's this one right here. Okay, so I'm taking my 239 brush and um, really getting that in there. So you really want to pack it on. You usually start in the inside corner and get that on the bottom to your duct. I guess there's only one ear duct. Okay, so you just want to keep patting it on. There's something in this eye today. I'm going to get it out all day. But seriously, this is not easy. You really want a good solid finish of color on here before you start with the purple. Now you could substitute the purple in with any color, really. Um, the purple seems to make my eyes pop a little bit. Okay, you really don't want to go into the crease with this, um, but I mean it doesn't really matter if you do a little bit. Okay, so now I'm taking trusty old Makeup Forever's number 92. There's a truer look of that. It's super, super purple. I mean, I guess it comes off a little bit blue, but it's like real purple. Okay, so I'm going to start putting that on with, um, this is an angled eyeliner pencil. It's real thin. I don't know if you can tell how thin that is. Um, just start off and like outline where you want it to like go. And so I usually just start the um, outer corner and then draw in where you're going to place it. And it really doesn't matter that it's like super messy up top there because you will be blending in more color with the top. Okay. And don't be surprised if you have fallout already because this color is real, real, real pigmented and you know when you get when you get I find with matte eyeshadows like dark matte eyeshadows you get more um, fallout. Okay, now I'm just taking a small crease brush by Essence of Beauty with the um, purple on it again, and I'm going to dab on over the areas that I outlined. And then once you do that, you can start moving it upwards.
Yeah, keep applying the um, purple in areas that seem a little sparse. Okay, so that's good for now. I'm just gonna take, this is Sephora's blending um, brush. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. I'm going to take that 239 brush again and the gesso or the white eyeshadow you use and just reapply. You're going to see how like drastically different these two colors are. If you can tell. See, look at that. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so now I'm going to reapply it to the bottom. Right there. Okay, so now what you want to do is um, take that same brush, the uh, Essence of Beauty one, and now you're going to trace the bottom lash. Okay, so then what do I want to do? Okay, take your highlighting um, color. I'm using um, Bare Minerals Queen Phyllis. Just for a second, I'm going to show you. Looks like that. Sort of like a nude, a shimmery nude color. And this is my favorite all over shadow by. Um, Sephora, and you just want to start it underneath your arch of your eyebrow, and then dab it on, and start blending. Blend with the edge of the purple. So once that's done, oh man, this is gonna have to be a two-parter. Um, once that's done, you want to add more of the intensity back to that purple. So it's not purple, not the mirror. Duh. You just you want to make sure that the purple keeps this intensity, just cause like. It's Makeup Forever number 92, like you gotta give credit where credit is earned. Okay. So now I'm going to stop this video and then I will have the second part up. Okay, so stay tuned.